Another weekly update in Draft World has been released. This week, we have a new hypercar, the Bomber, and two weekly challenge cars, the new Hellion off-road truck and the reintroduced Rattlerod. They have also added some new features such as a new desert biome area and some bug fixes. But the most important ones are the weekly challenge cars are now unlockable with Robux and sellable as well. Without further ado, let's begin with the new cars. First of all, the new Bomber hypercar is based on the 2016 Aston Martin Vulcan. It costs $2.5 million, which is the same as the McLaren P1. However, unlike the McLaren P1, this has slightly worse lateral grip and top speed, but has way more downfalls. After maxing it out along with my gear tuning, it is capable of reaching a top speed of 345 miles per hour and has decent acceleration. And the reason why I equipped the race twin turbo instead of a turbo is that the score will be just under 1500 and it can join races with a 1500 restriction. Overall, I would say this is a downgraded version of the P1 because I don't feel it has better handling while having more downfalls. Just buy the P1 instead, it is just better. Next up is the new off-road truck, the Hellion, which is based on the 2013 Chevy Silverado Trophy truck. It requires you to finish all 5 weekly challenges to obtain it. It has a value of $1 million, so upgrading it will cost you a lot. It has a lateral grip of 1.1G and the game doesn't even show its downfalls. It handles better than the starter cars but nowhere near the hypercars. Remember, it is still a truck. After maxing it out along with my gear tuning, it can reach a top speed of 360 miles per hour and still has an insane launch and acceleration. Because this car is meant for off-roading and doesn't have excellent handling, I only made it to go no more than 360 miles per hour. If you want to, you can make it to 440 miles per hour and it can still run with no problems at all. It has a score of 1711 when maxed out. This car is definitely worth the grind. Last but not least, the reintroduced Ratsrod, which is based on Volkswagen Beetle Ratsrod. It has a value of $100,000. It has a lateral grip of 0.65G and doesn't show any downfall stats. Yes, it has bad handling, but it can drift pretty well for some reasons. After maxing it out along with my gear tuning, it can reach a top speed of 320 miles per hour. Don't try to tune it so it has a higher top speed. It doesn't have the power to maintain the speed, even with a V12 swap. It has decent launch and acceleration though. It has a score of 1696 after upgrading with a Vito swap. Doesn't worth it unless you just want a drift car. That's all about this weekly update. I hope this video can help you out. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. I'll see ya in the next one. Bye!